Hey everyone, this is Larry. Welcome back to Today I Feel Like. Today we're going to take a look at the GIEC Y1005 Truly Wireless Earphones. We're going to check them out, see what they look like, how they fit, how they feel, and what they sound like. So, let's jump into it, and here we go. All right, let's go ahead and take a look around the box here and just take a look. And we can see right here, there's gonna be a little bit of branding that says GIEC. And right here, it's gonna say True Wireless Earbuds. And then the model number is going to be GIEC Y1005. On this side, it's just gonna give us the model number and a barcode. Little branding on that side, nothing on that side. Little branding on that side. And then on the back here, we're gonna see where it says um, some specs, like it's gonna be Bluetooth 5.0. It's gonna have touch controls, intelligent sound. 500 milliamp hour battery capacity, I believe that's for the case, 13 millimeter uh, driver speakers and voice assistant. So, and yeah, so anyways, um, it looks like each earbud is gonna have 30 milliamp hours. We're gonna get about um, three and a half hours of talk time at 50% volume. And yeah, so let's see here. Um, I think that's about, it says transmission range is about 10 meters or, uh, or about 30 feet there. Charging time is going to take about two hours for the charging case and about an hour and a half for the earbuds and music time is about four hours with 50% uh, battery life, 50% uh, volume, excuse me. So, all right, let's go ahead and uh, cut through this plastic here so that we can, uh, we can get through here and see what these things are going to look like. So let's go ahead and get this plastic off of there and let's get these opened up. And we can see what they are sort of going to look like, but we're going to see what they look like in, in real life here, the real deal and not just the picture there. So there we go. Get that out and we get them right up front there. That's kind of nice. So um, we'll get this plastic off there. And, um, and here is the, here's the case. And the earbuds are actually right in there. You can see right there how they just slide right out. So they're actually just like part of the case right there, which is kind of cool. So... Um, same thing on that side, you can just sort of slide them out there and they come out and they very much have that style of earbuds like the, uh, like the AirPods, uh, the original AirPods or the uh, EarPods, whatever they, uh, that Apple used to call them. Now you may see here that they're flashing, it's flashing blue and green. That's because they are in pairing mode right now. So yeah, all right, we're gonna go ahead and see what else we get in here, what else is under the box and um, there we go. It looks like we're going to get a charging cable, which is very nice. So on the bottom, it's going to have a USB-C port, which is nice. And we're going to get a USB-C cable. So that's very nice to have too. Um, and then we're also going to get a, a user manual there. So, okay, very nice. Let's set that stuff aside. And let me grab my, uh, let me just grab my Android phone here. And let's see what this is going to, uh, let's see what this is going to look like here as far as, uh, getting this thing paired up. So let me uh, drop that a little bit there. And it looks like it's already in pairing mode. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this out, take these out of the out of the case there. And I'm gonna go ahead now and just uh, go to my settings. And there we go. And I'm gonna go to connections and Bluetooth connections. And let's see if these things are already showing up here. So let's see, it says available devices. Oh yeah, right there, they're already showing up, the GIEC. Uh, Y1005, so we'll click that there, and it's asking me if I want to pair it. I'm going to go ahead and say yes, and get that going, and it's uh, it's paired up and ready to go. Yeah, all right, so let's go ahead and just pop these in the ear and see what they sound like. So um, I don't see, um, one thing, I don't see anything, oh yeah, there we go. So on the inside right there, we're going to see left and right so you may be able to see that it's a little it's a little hard to check out on there but let's go ahead and get these in the ear and yeah already it's playing my music already all right so or playing my uh my audio book that i was listening to so let me go ahead and i'm going to change that up i want to go play some music here so let me see if i can get to my my music app that i normally use on here and we'll check that out. Let me see. Where is that going to be? Where is that going to be here? So, all right. There we go. And let me load up some music here. And luckily, I have my song already loaded up. So, um, this is the song that I normally like to listen to so I can see what the bass is going to be like. It has nice, clean bass and vocals. 
And these touch, uh, they, they, these things do have touch sensitivity on here and it's sensitive because I've already uh, accidentally activated some of the touch, uh, some of the controls on there. Um, yeah, all right, let's see. Now I'm not the biggest fan of this style of earbud because they don't stay in my ear very well and I'll show you what I mean. Like it just, just going like this, it doesn't take much before they start to fall out. Now these ones actually are staying in a little bit better but they don't feel like they're gonna stay in very well. So, but I'm really surprised because most of these times these things just fall straight out of my ear. So, um, yeah, anyways, let's play some music and see how it does. All right, I'm gonna play this song here and let me get this going. And they don't sound bad. Like when I pull, when I hold them in there so that they have a nice seal, the bass actually sounds really good. The problem is, is that they don't sit in there like that. Like, yeah, for me, like they don't sit in there um, very well. For some people, they can put these things in their ear and they just lock right in. Me, it's not. I feel like this one feels like it's moving. It's about to come out all the time. Like it just doesn't really sit in there all that well. Um, one thing is, yeah, geez, this, um, the touch sensitivity on this thing is really, <laughs> really uh, sensitive. I keep on accidentally touching it over here and activating the, uh, the, uh, personal assistant, which is Google for me. But, um, when I start playing this again, so let me go ahead and start playing this. Um, yeah, it's, it gets, it gets fairly loud. Um, the, th the problem is, is that it just, I can't get a good seal. Like you can see how easy it is to take them out. They just, I just can't get a good seal on them. They just, the, yeah. Um, but some people like that. And for people who like that, I think that's fantastic for them. Um, I think you can, let's see, let me play it. Let me see if I can tap that again so I can play it. Um, there we go. Now, I don't know if there's any volume controls on there. I think there is something down there at the bottom. Let me see. I may have to actually read the control. I may have to read the manual a little bit so I can see if there's any volume controls. Yeah, that's the thing that frustrates me. If I hold it in, they sound fantastic. The problem is I can never get that seal just to stay on its own. So, all right. One thing that I do want to check is I want to see how these are going to perform if I'm just like riding my exercise bike or something that I would normally use earphones for. So let's go, I'm going to go hop on the bike right quick and we'll see how these things uh, perform and how they're going to sound in, in a scenario like that. All right. So here I am. I am on my exercise bike. I just wanted to see how these earphones were going to work if I was doing some exercising. Now, it's not like I'm moving a whole lot, um, you know, on my upper body. My head's not really moving much. So it's not like I have to worry about them falling out right now. However, I will say that there are a few things that really are bothering me about these earphones. And one of them is the touch sensitivity. And that is because every time I take them out of the case, they just activate the personal assistant. Uh, it's like almost every single time accidentally. And if I go to make some adjustment with them, if I just grab them to make an adjustment, I, ju I activate the personal assistant. Like I literally just did it right there. It's just, it's, it's really, really problematic. And I haven't been able to figure out a way to adjust the volume with a touch sensitivity, with a touch sensitive uh, earphones. I'm not sure if you can or not. Um, playing and pausing them has been, um, I've been able to do it, but it's not consistent. So that's a problem too. Um, also, I've noticed that when I put the earphones in the case that they will continue to play music. So I can put them, I could take them out of my ears and put them in the case here and they'll continue to play the music. And if I, it, it actually, even while they're in there, if I'm holding it, like right there, it's just started playing my music. Um, and I didn't mean to, and they're actually in the, uh, in the case here. So that's a problem because I can't trust that I can just put these in my pocket or hold them in my hand and not start playing my music, end up draining the batteries. Yeah. And it's just, there, there's too many little quirks and hiccups about these to, uh, to make me really like them. It's just, yeah, I'm not a fan. That's basically the bottom line. I'm not a fan. So anyways, let me go ahead and finish my workout. I'll get back to you guys in a minute to wrap this up. 
All right, everyone, so there we have it. That is it. That is a look at the GIEC Y1005 Truly Wireless Earbuds. And yeah, I have to say I'm not a fan. I mean, if you can get a good seal and maintain a good seal, they actually sound pretty good. However, I just can never maintain a good seal with these. They just always are dangling sort of loose, ready to fall out. They just don't ever feel secure in my ears and I never have a good seal with them. Also, I just don't like the touch sensitivity on here. I've had a number of, of earphones that are, that are touch sensitive. These are just way, way too sensitive. Every time I take these out of here and get ready to use them, I end up activating the personal assistant on my phone or because they're constantly uh, feeling like they're loose and about to come out. When I go to adjust them, I'm constantly activating the personal assistant. It's really just problematic. So yeah, I just, I'm not, I'm not really digging these. Now there is one thing I wanna show you and that is on the case, we get a digital readout of the battery display. So we can uh, see how much is left and when we plug it in, we'll see there that it flashes and letting us know uh, that it's charging and what the battery percentage is at that time. So, I mean, that's kind of nice to have that. And it's nice that, you know, that you can see how much battery left, how much juice is left in there with a digital display. So that's kind of cool. But other than that, I, there's, there's not much else I like about these. So yeah, anyways, if you are interested, I'll leave a link to them down below in the video description so that you can check them out. I'll also leave a link to, uh, to my Amazon page, my social media contacts so you can reach me elsewhere. And I hope you enjoyed seeing this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram. And I am Larry with Today I Feel Like. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, Love, peace, and hair grease. Peace.